to get something intuitive, we must remove the infinite sum. So the goal of this board is to get rid of that sum and turn it into a nice algebraic expression. So first thing we're going to do is factor. So we could say E R equals, and if we look at this, the obvious thing to factor is the E naught E to the J omega T in this term and E naught E to the J omega T in that term. That will come right out. It'll leave the other exponential parts. So it's equal to E naught E to the J omega T. And we still have an R and plus. And as long as we're factoring, we can pull out things here that don't involve n, right? We can pull out the t, t prime. e to the j omega t is gone. And is there anything else we can pull out? Well, these have an n, so we can't pull them out, but I'm going to. No, don't do it, professor. Yeah, no, you can. Let me show you how. I want to pull an r prime out. I don't care that it has a big n on it. I'm pulling one out. It's coming out of there. And all we got to do is then lower this by one, right? This is r prime to the two n minus three. We can take an r prime out, we just make it two n minus four. I also want to take away one of these e to the j deltas, just because I just want one out here. So I'm gonna put an e to the j delta. So if I pull each one of those out, then all that is times the sum from n equals two to infinity, I haven't messed with that. And what's left? R prime to the two n minus four, because I took one away. Uh, e to the minus j, uh, and I took one of these away, minus two, delta. So we factored in several places, and in a rather unusual way because I'm working towards something that I know will work. Let's see, now that we've factored, we have to combine and use less board when we combine. I got a little carried away. Combine, what are we gonna combine? Oh yes, we're going to say it's equal to E R is E naught E to the J omega T r plus t, t prime, r prime, e to the j delta, sum n equals two to infinity. And now, notice this is to the two n minus four, and this is to the n minus two. So this is twice this one. So we could write this as um, r prime squared to the n minus two. And then suddenly, they are to uh, the same factor. So what we're gonna do is on the inside, put r prime squared there, e to the minus j delta, and then they're both to the n minus two power, like that. Ah, so we've combined, we combined those terms into one term. And then we're gonna recognize that we have created something here, this is a geometric series. So if you have the sum of n equals, sorry, um, here I'll just say little n, this is not the same problem, n equals two uh, to infinity of x to the n plus two for a geometric series, or I'm sorry, n minus two. Looks just like what we have there, that's equal to one plus x squared plus dot, dot, dot. Okay. This is not the most general geometric series. If you see it real general, it doesn't even go to infinity, but if you assume it goes to infinity, you can write it this way. And there's another thing you have to assume. And if the magnitude of x is less than one, positive or negative, if the absolute, uh, if the absolute value of x is less than one, then it converges to one over one minus x. So this is where we get rid of the infinite sum. We have a thing here, 
This is our x to the n minus 2 sum from 2 to infinity, and it does remain less than 1 because the reflection coefficient is always less than 1, and it's squared, and this always has to be less than 1 because it's basically a complex exponential. So it will remain less than 1. So we can replace this with that uh, geometric thing. I'm completely out of room, but I can fit it down here. We're going to say that er equals something, equals e naught e to the j omega t, All right, so we just copied that down times this whole thing, which we're leaving as r plus. Okay, we're leaving this as r plus t t prime r prime e to the minus j uh, delta uh, r prime e to the minus j delta. And you're sitting there smugly noticing that I forgot that minus sign um, here, and I forgot it here. Uh, e minus j delta, yeah, we're going to replace this with 1 over 1 minus that, okay, times 1 over 1 minus r prime squared e to the minus j delta. And that's our E field. Now, did the board say to make the E field intuitive yet? No. The board just said to remove the infinite sum. So we have removed the infinite sum. The answer is not yet intuitive. We're getting there. 